Well, a calm and cooler day today compared yes. to yesterday and certainly compared to this day five years ago. Yeah, it was a very calm day and nothing like it was last night and definitely not like it was just five years ago when we had the big tornado. And this was day three of a uh, kind of a uh, little mini outbreak that we had. And this was, again, the third day. We had the 18th, we had the Shawnee tornado on the 19th, and then now the Moore tornado on the 20th. As uh, That was an EF5 rating. Uh, estimated winds with the damage estimate was around 205, 210 mile per hour. Now, if you uh, go back to the 99 tornado, that had estimated winds over 300. Uh, just put in perspective there, path 14 miles. It started just uh, northeast of Newcastle and made its way here across Moore and across I-35 before dissipating. And uh, that EF5 damage just west of uh, 35 there as uh, 24 deaths, 212 injured. And this was not only the, the tornado of the day. We had 14 other tornadoes in Oklahoma, uh, one EF2, 10 EF1s and 3 EF0s as I was down in Lawton doing severe weather coverage and we had two tornadoes there near Marlowe there in Stevens County. So a big day and a lot of Oklahomans will never forget. Now we did have severe weather yesterday, but thankfully we have not seen that much in the way of severe weather here this spring and nothing to that magnitude that we saw five years ago. We did have one tornado here in Osage County near Fairfax. Numerous reports of hail and we had that wind damage, 70 to 80 mile per hour winds near Purcell and Lexington. And this is what it looked like here on Storm Shield and our next gen live is you can green is going towards the radar. The radar is up here and red's going away and that made a beeline from southwest to northeast. Now exclusive to next gen or uh, here exclusive to News 9 or next gen live shows that shear rate. And you notice how it's kind of linear in shape long wise and not like a ball of uh, uh, high winds. This is straight line wind damage that came in from the southwest to northeast right over Purcell and Lexington at about 1230 where Matt Moeller was uh, keeping you advised throughout the overnight of that storm that was racing to the northeast and it, it eventually weakened at about 10, 15 miles northeast of Purcell. So this was a, a quick moving and a short lived storm. But you can see on our shear uh, swath, the path that went through the Purcell area from southwest to northeast. Quiet this evening. It was a beautiful, cool day. Lisa was happy. She went running this morning and thanked me when she came in because of the lack of moisture or a little less moisture and those temperatures only into the 70s as uh, east wind at around five miles an hour. Hopefully you had a great weekend and enjoyed those rains. It was a little noisy last night and here this evening and overnight and much quieter overnight. There will soon be some patchy fog because of light winds and a couple breaks in the clouds that allow that. A high temperature of 72 degrees here today. Well, we're still looking for that 90 degree high and over the next couple of days, I don't see it. I think we stay uh, somewhat cool for this time of the year with temperatures into the 80s. I think most of the moisture is off to the south, east and west for tomorrow and again on Tuesday. But then the moisture will eventually come back up middle of the week with more humidity. A uh, weak system comes in from the west, but the big jet stream, so I don't see any big storm systems. And this threat of severe weather is going to be very low with any rain chances we see this week. This is almost like a summertime pattern. Those storms go up, they collapse, isolated, st uh, strong or severe storm, uh, but temperatures a lot of 80s in the forecast. A little bit of fog possible, again, patchy off to the northwest. I wouldn't be surprised here southwest and south central see some more fog because just the amount of moisture they did see over the last couple of days with that rainfall. 50s and 60s here for the overnight. A lot of sunshine, morning clouds, some fog around. Temperatures struggle to hit the lower 80s, so Pretty seasonable for this time of year with lower to middle 80s off towards the west. Any chance of rain southeast and middle 80s on Tuesday. So the nice weather will continue. Maybe a late afternoon storm off towards the west. But here across central Oklahoma and Oklahoma City will stay dry tomorrow and Tuesday. S couple scattered showers and thunderstorms Wednesday and Thursday. But no 90s in the forecast over the next nine days.